Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Brain Soul video and today new resurrected characters have been leaked courtesy of Soul Decks. as always we are on BBS Simulator if you are wondering what this site is it's bbs-simulator.com very good site I do recommend you lads check it out so what we're going to do today's video is checking out the new resurrections and see if they got good resurrections now these characters in question are actually pretty good because they're getting resurrected months in advance and I am talking about the Christmas banner of 2018 so Christmas Rukia, Ryuka and Urudu so it's a pretty interesting banner Really hoping that Ruki gets the best resurrection of the three because she is the better character. Urudu, um, not sure how they're going to handle her. We're about to check that out in a minute, obviously. And then Ruka, I'm sure she's going to get a pretty good one too. Hopefully she's a good link because she is a 20 sad link. Alright, so we're starting off with Uru. Let's check her out firstly with her pre-resurrection skill. So, she was actually a pretty good character when she first came out. She was, like, literally the best healer in the game. One of the most sought-after characters just for Cobb. Because Cobb, back in the day, was kind of hard. You weren't just one-shotting everything like you can now. And it kind of encouraged you to bring a healer into the game. So, she has a recharge link. But do keep in mind, she's actually a NAD character. So, the idea of her was that you want to do NAD damage, but also... Kind of, you wanted to use recharge links just to get that heal off a lot often than not. So, Berserker plus 30%, Bruiser plus 40, Debilitator plus 5, Devastation plus 40, Medic and Sprinter plus 1. She already has pretty good skills. If we see anything, we might actually see an increase on the Bruiser. If anything, she might get a 60% increase on the Bruiser. Really hoping she picks up either last ditch or no attack damage. That would be the go-to for me. That's how I would resurrect her. But her skills are already good as is. And the main thing that comes down to her is like she's not really that good anymore because you don't really need like a healer like this. But... Let's see what she got. So she got no attack damage increase, which actually makes her a pretty good link in my opinion. It also makes her a pretty good character. It makes her better because that's what you want to do with her. You want to be using your no attack damage. So the fact that she now does extra damage is pretty good. And hopefully her bruiser went up to 60. It did not. Okay, so she, did she get no increase whatsoever? Wow, so yeah, she literally got nothing on the skills. I don't like that. That's something that might be bad in the future for a better resurrected character when we finally get to the really good ones. You know, maybe from a year from now. That's kind of a disheartening to see, not gonna lie. But on the bright side, I guess she is now a pretty good link being a recharge and no attack damage. There is use for that, especially with someone like Owetsu. That's actually a pretty good link. And also she is tech, so it's even better for Owetsu. As for a playable character, she isn't really gonna change much besides the fact that now she does extra damage. She does have more stats and she also does have the extra no attack damage link. So she's okay. Again, I started with her first because she is the worst of the three in my opinion. Funny enough, she was the best of the three back in the day, but nowadays if you were to use all three of them, you probably dislike her the most because of just the way she plays in my opinion, but she is a pretty cool character. I do like her design. I do like the design and the artwork and stuff, and she is also going to be a usable character for the upcoming Senkamon, which is actually dropping tomorrow morning. Going into the next character, we have Christmas Ririka. Okay, so she burns and everything. She is a melee character, so I don't think they have to fix her strong attacks. So she is a strong attack damage link. So again, hoping she picks up recharge. That'd be a very good link for power. Power doesn't have access to three of those links, so that'd actually be really good. As for her skills, she has Bruiser plus 20%, Debilitator plus 2, Devastation plus 40, Frenzy, Long Reach, Sprinter plus 1. She also has a hefty amount of skills. I don't think we're going to see anything added. It would be nice if she did receive Berserker. That'd definitely be a good thing. If anything, we might actually the Bruiser go up to 40%. Even then, I don't think it will yeah she, i'm really hoping she gets some kind of upgrade or a new skill that would make her a lot better and i'm really hoping she doesn't get nothing right so let's see what she get with the resurrection she got strong attack recharge that's such a very good link okay and then as for the skills she got uh did she get long reach what, what, oh wait hold on hold on she picked up havoc mad what so wait she what that's actually a very good upgrade Okay, that's something I did not expect to see. I was thinking she was going to get uh, Berserker, but no, she picked up Havoc. So she went from a character that was okay, in my opinion, to now actually being a pretty good character. She's a Ranker Killer. We have a lot of power Ranker Killers now in the game, but hey... Strong attack damage plus 20% and the recharge. And now she has Havoc. So she does have a 1,200 full screen SA3. She has a better SA2 now. And now she does have a pretty good SA1 when it comes to the lunge. So she is now not a bad character. I would definitely say she's potentially top 20. Like, that's actually a very interesting upgrade. I'm actually really happy about that. Uh, I guess we start off really weak with the Urudu. She got nothing. Meanwhile, this Raruka picked up Havoc when I guess she didn't really need it. But she has it. And that makes her really good. She now has 820 SP, which is definitely one of the higher ones in the game. That's a pretty good upgrade, and also a very good link. One of the better resurrections in the game. Very excited about that one. Now let's move on to Rukia, who the one I'm most excited for, because she is the better of the three, so really hoping she gets a good upgrade. Alright, so with Rukia, she is a full stand character. Fun fact about her, uh, obviously with the Thousand Year Blood War Byakuya debacle when he came out, the fact that he doesn't have Frenzy, like a month or two after, we got the Rukia, and she came out with Frenzy, and almost the exact same kit, just being a melee character. But the main thing about her was that she is a full stand link, and also a shield character, which was new at the time, when the Rukia 
Kuroki and Byakuya came out. So one also thing about her is the fact that she is better than Byakuya. And that annoyed some people because, again, Byakuya was kind of shafted. But now she's also getting a resurrection first, making it even more better, uh, in a sense, right now. So hopefully when Byakuya does get resurrected, he does pick up Frenzy. But as far as resurrections go, they currently don't give Frenzy to catch with Bombardment. So it ain't looking good for him. Hopefully sometime in the future when we get up to the resurrection, it does change. So let's check out her stuff. So she is a damage inflicted at full stamina. Would like for her to get recharged because that means her second strong attack, which is the shield, will recharge faster. Uh, she could get strong attack damage. That also be a very good link, obviously similar to Senka Aizen. As for her skill, she has Bruiser plus 20%, Debilitator plus 5, Devastation plus 40, Frenzy, Long Reach, and Sprinter plus 1. If she also gets Havoc, that's going to be insane because, yeah, she has a very good SA1 and 2 and 3. Like, there's nothing bad about this character. The only thing bad about it, I guess, is the fact that you know, just new characters coming out with almost the exact same strong attacks, which is better skills, right? Making them hit harder with the recharge and stuff like that. So, really hoping she gets recharged. And also, similar to the Ruka, hopefully she picks up Havoc. So, let's check it out. So, she has 829 SP and she picked up Recovery Stamina. Okay. It's been unfortunate. I think every character that's gotten resurrected with this kind of link has actually picked up this one right here, Recovery Stamina, which makes them better. In a situation, this can actually be very good because you're getting that recovery. So that means if you are using this character in co-op or single player and you take damage, it means you can recover when you go to the next stage and potentially get that damage inflicted at full stamina back, which is a good thing. But also... She is a shield character. She doesn't really need this, in my opinion, because she does have the shield. I feel like recharge definitely would have been better. And as for a link, um, if she picked up strong attack damage, that would have been actually very, very good. As for her skills, what did she pick up? So she got Bruiser plus 40, Debilitator plus 5, Devastation, Frenzy, Long Reach, Sprinter plus 1, and Weakened Defense. So she didn't get Havoc, like the Aruka, but I think she picked up Weakened Defense. I think that's actually what she got. Yeah, so a Bruiser went up 20%, which, you know, she's an SP character. Why she have a high Bruiser? She definitely should have been Berserker. And she picked up Weakened defense which she is a full stamp character so if you have this character 5-5 she might actually be a very good nuke especially in guild quest for the sorry per killer week so overall we got three pretty good resurrections the ruka definitely got the best of the three that's not what i was expecting i was expecting this ruka to get the best of the three but no the ruka is now a very solid character and also one of the best power links in the game very excited about that urdu is now a pretty good link but as for a playstyle she saw no kind of change beside the fact that now she can be doing extra bit of nad damage not really important she's kind of a sleeper she's a somewhat of a niche link the no attack damage and recharge isn't going to be widely used for a lot of characters, but I definitely can see the use for that. And then Ruka is now able to weaken defense, do a bit more nad damage, and also recover stamina, which overall just makes her a better character. So a pretty good resurrection battle over there. Definitely excited most about the Ruka. And now what we're going to do is quickly hop over to the simulator page, and we're going to look at the next banner and what characters might get resurrected for the end of month of December. Alright, so here we are on the character releases, obviously, going from the Adenyoto banner. That's what we just got resurrected. So that would mean that the next upcoming resurrected banner is going to be the Jushiro Gin and Retsu. However, there is one small thing. Normally, it's going to go in banner release, right? So after the, let's say, for example, this tag team banner, once they get resurrected, the next banner to get resurrected is going to be this Waco Mundo banner, right? However, there is one small thing, and that is the order of release in Global was actually different to JP. So if they go with the JP schedule, the Yoroichi, Tensa, and Y Ichigo banner is going to get resurrected before the Gin, Jushiro, and Retsu Banner, even though it does say on this timeline right here that the Gin Banner came first. The reason why this happened is because the end of month of June for both Global and JP was actually the Swimsuit Nelio Banner, and that meant this banner right here, which was supposed to be the end of month of June, got pushed back to the end of month of July. So actually on Global, we had to wait two months for these characters. So yeah, these characters actually came out a lot earlier on JP, so it really depends on what k want to do for this one. Do they want to do the Gin Banner and follow the Global timeline, or do they want to do the Yoroichi, Tensa, and Waichigo Banner and follow the JP schedule? Either way, these two banners are going to be the next set of resurrections that being said if you guys did enjoy the video in the comments below let me know what you guys think about these characters very excited for the ruka was honestly going into this expecting ruka would be the best character of the three but that christmas ruka definitely did surprise me i'm excited to resurrect her and test her out so if you guys did make it to the end make sure you do smash the like good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace